Do you have any best practices for all my small business owners and entrepreneurs out there um, like that may have joining an online class? Um, there's plenty of options now since the pandemic, you know, where truly exercising is, you know, not being able to do it is no longer an excuse. So you have plenty of options. So I start True. with that first. Welcome to Visit Vegas Places with Coil, your host. How's everyone doing? Yes. Now the world is back in motion, especially here in Vegas. Um, I don't know what city or country you're in, but we're in full motion. Uh, it's like we're going fast forward to to catch up what time we lost in the pandemic. Um, but hey, is that possible? Nowhere near possible. So definitely having someone in your corner along the journey is very important. Uh, we Some are fortunate to have family members. Others have genuine leaders and coaches in their life, like my guests who provide alternative and holistic health services. Um, back, I have returning guests is Sarita Rodriguez, owner of Recalibrate Wellness. Sarita, thank you for joining me again. How are you doing? Hi, Coyle. Thank you so much for having me again. This is great. It is great. Yes, it's, you know, technically, our last recording session was um, on September thirteenth, and was our last recording, and we were in the pandemic, and we were talking about, um, you know, best practices and how to survive the pandemic with staying at home, and that was new to us. So now here we are, a year after the pandemic. You know, this is beautiful, and I want to thank you for blessing me with your presence. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's it's a pleasure to be here. It's a great opportunity to share, um, you know, health and wellness tips and preventative health care to everyone, you know, that listens to your show. Yes, and that is important. Uh, could you start off with letting them know, uh, define what is an integrated nutrition health coach? Um, let the audience know what that is. Um, an integrative nutrition health coach is someone that guides you. Um, in your diet, um, and not just what you are eating, but we go over your lifestyle, we go over the root cause. Um, so, you know, there's other uh, ways to help people um, in their health and wellness journey. And what we do is make recommendations to your lifestyle. We believe that what is on your plate is secondary. What got you to how you, how did you get to have high blood pressure? How did you become obese? How did you become, you know, somebody with chronic stress? Those are all symptoms, right? So what we do is we look at that instead of saying, okay, you have high blood pressure, this is your meal plan or whatever, you know, this is the foods you have to eat. Anybody can do that. What we do is go beyond that. And look at your lifestyle, look at your habits, look at your relationship, look at your career, look at your finances. Let's talk about the things mm -hmm. that cause you to make certain decisions that are unhealthy, that led you to where you are today. So mm -hmm. that's what an integrative nutrition health coach does. It's beautiful. And that did extend to the root cause. And um, you guys, Sarita was on my um, season, first season, episode eight. And um, she touched a lot on um, connecting with root causes, uh, which, I, which I love. So instead of just going straight for, okay, uh, weight loss or, or you're stressing um, for running your business or stressing on all these matters, let's get down to what's the trigger points of these, which is connecting to the root cause. You said something very important too, Sarita. You said um, you deal with what's outside the plate first. Um, give us a little insight on that. Well, if you look at an integrative nutrition uh, plate, you're going to have, um, you know, the four basic things that we believe are the most major causes for someone to have certain health challenges, right? And that is fitness or physical activity. Um, are they moving their bodies daily? Are they getting blood flow, flow um, pumping to their brain, to their heart? I mean, are, are they moving, period? Um, your relationships. How is your relationship mm. at home? Are you in a toxic relationship 
is your relationship with your family, like even your parents, it could be long term. And that has caused you to behave in a certain way that has led you to make certain choices that have resulted in health challenges. Um, your career. Mm. I've been a victim of this career. You thinking, yeah, you're young, you're going to make it, you're going to do this job, you're going to be working like 60, 80 hours a week, and you're going to make that bonus. And unbeknownst to you, your health is, you know, taking a toll, right? So career mm-hmm. is also another one that causes a lot of um, health challenges with people. And finance, you know, mm. that's a no brainer there. Um, mm. I kind of believe, you know, health and finance kind of goes hand in hand because without finance, you can't really get great health care in this country, right? And without, you know, you not having your health, you know, and then not having any finances, it, it causes more stress. So, you know, making right. sure you're in a good place financially. Um, can help and when people say money is not everything no it's not everything but you definitely need that when it's a rainy day and when you are going through a health challenge you definitely need money so those four things are outside the plate and then inside the plate you have your you know basic food groups you know which is uh your protein your your vegetables and we say whole grains instead of just grains because we believe in whole grains are healthier, mm. you know, and even outside the plate, you have your dairy and, and healthy fats and oils. So that's what an integrative nutrition health plate looks like. Wow, that's nice. Now, do you have any best practices for all my small business owners and entrepreneurs out there um, like that may have no financial problems? Um, they're on the good track of eating good. Everything is real, you know, it's real solid with them, but they might need to work out. Um, Sometimes I had to tie that into how I feel during the day as I'm working, which now I get up at uh, 4.30 in the morning and I do workouts. But it was hard as far as the mental aspect to stay consistent, which somehow tied into that. Um, the mental part is first. I thought, I think a lot of people, when they schedule things out, like, Hey, I'm going to work out, I'm going to do this. They don't get the mental part of it first. Is there any best practice you have on tackling that mental aspect of it when you really don't know what the issue is or you don't have major issues, but that mental thought of it, how can you tackle that? I actually have a little questionnaire that I send out to my clients, and I'm not sure if it's still up on um, my link tree there. But I have a little survey where I ask you questions of the type of workouts you like, because you may be motivated. You're like, yes, I want to work out. I want to lose weight. You're, you have this. You have it in you, and you're going to the gym but you hate it because it smells or it's packed with people all the time or you don't know what you're doing, whatever it is. So you become unmotivated to go. So Mm. it's not that you don't want to exercise. Maybe working out indoors is not for you. Maybe what Mm. you need to find is an activity outside. Maybe walking, running, going bike riding might be better for you. Maybe hiking is what's for you. Um, Maybe taking up salsa dancing classes is better for you. You know, that might be something. It just depends on where you are at um, when it comes to being fit. For me, as long as you're moving your body, then that's great. Maybe working Mm. out at home is better for you and just joining an online class. Um, There's plenty of options now since the pandemic, you know, where Truly exercising is, you know, not being able to do it is no longer an excuse. So you have plenty of options. So I start with that first is trying to figure out where the person's mindset is, because you can implement a workout routine with someone. But if they're not into yoga, they're not going to do it. It doesn't matter if you say they need to stretch. It doesn't matter if they know they need to stretch. If they're not going to do yoga, don't suggest don't do it. Give them something that they can 
do. Right. You know, so we start with that. Then after that, then let's envision how your lifestyle looks like. Can you seriously implement this workout into your daily lifestyle? Hmm. Do you actually have time for this type of workout? The class is an hour. Maybe you need to trim it down to 30 minutes. Right. Maybe you need to start off with just twice a week. I'd rather get consistent results than no results at all. Or you being so super motivated the first two weeks. Yeah, you went every day to class. But after two weeks, you've given up because it was too hard to maintain. Because you're just oh. too busy and exhausted and your, you know, your lifestyle doesn't permit that. So, right. um, you know, first, let's figure out what your lifestyle is. Let's figure out, you know, where you're at. And, and then we'll go from there. Wow. That's, that's beautiful and great advice. Um, I have a, a, a secret to tell too, of something I went through, uh, when I was podcasting, um, like my background I have with the Las Vegas, when I was starting, um, I was trying to find the right background. So when I bought one, I bought one that was small. Right. Mm -hmm. So when I started, it was, it took me at least 15, 20 minutes to get the camera position with this small, you know, banner in the background. But I'm like, dude, I need this banner because it represents Vegas and the shows, you know, Vegas. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell you something like it was, it was that 20 minutes, just putting the banner up. It made me almost demotivated to do the show. So it will be days to where I'm thinking before the show, like, dude, I don't want to put the banner up. And that affects the whole show. Mm -hmm. So I had to really sit down and think like that little banner is making my whole session like uncomfortable. So how can I fix this root cause? All I had to do was buy a bigger banner. So I bought a <laughs> bigger banner. So now I put it up in like 10 seconds, you know, it's like, <laughs> and then <laughs> and that's the least of my worries. But the least, that least thing, and I'm going to tell you something. I, I didn't pay attention to it for the first two sessions, right? So what I did was like, you know what? I'm not going to use it. Mm -hmm. So that altered my show. So I didn't use it, and it affected my guests in a way that my guests was looking for all that that they used to. Like, I'm, you, I see that you have all this. Why I don't have it? And it, <laughs> it was more felt than not said. And then that's when I knew, like, you know what? I got to fix this. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it starts affecting more than you. It affects your surroundings. Yes. And it affects people that you're involved with. Yeah. Yeah. And this is also how you break habits. I mean, this is how you also implement good habits and break bad habits is you have to have the little trigger points. So if you want to work out, um, you know, for me, myself, if I know I'm going to work out, the first thing I do in the morning mm -hmm. without even thinking about it I just put on workout clothes. Now, anybody that knows me, mm. um, I'm, you know, I may be in health and wellness, but I was Miss Little Fashionista before this, and I still am. So you'll never catch me wearing, <laughs> yes, you, you, are. Know, <laughs> you know, you'll never catch me wearing sneakers and workout clothes, you know, just because, you know, um, because I don't believe in that. You shouldn't be wearing stretchy clothes because you can get really comfortable with stretchy clothes, you know. So, mm. um I put that on first thing in the morning and right away at that point, it's like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym. I have no choice. I have to work out. I'm going right. to go and work out. I'm going to go sweat. I put these clothes on. I'm going to sweat. And that's it. And the minute I take them off and put on my makeup and everything, now my mind is said that, oh, no, you can't do that. You know, you're going to mess up your makeup. You're going to mess up your hair. You, can't. <laughs> you know, it's completely different. So right. you have to set yourself up for the things that you know best for you. And that's how you set up good habits. And that's how you also break bad habits. So if you're doing something bad consistently, you know, put up a blockage, Right. you know? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, Sarita, I see you're active now on Instagram, which is great. Uh, mm -hmm. Going back a year, you're definitely 10 times. I got to keep up with you now. Um, with you, yes, you, with your marketing, you're doing good. The fashionista, I see all the posts, everything is like, you're, we're aware, you know, and that's real good. Cause you, you have to build awareness and you have to understand which part of you doing in social media. Cause then there's a selling aspect to it, a marketing aspect to it. And then just mm -hmm. awareness. Like, Hey, I want you guys to be aware of what I'm doing and who I am. And um, right. you're doing a good job with each of those categories. And I see you're improving each step. 
And now Thank I go you. to the, the, you're welcome. And then the link tree, beautiful. Uh, since we talk, you've been on the TV show. Let us know about that. The successful woman's mindset. Uh, give us a briefing on that. Um, it's with um, the streaming app channel, Everyday Woman TV. You can download the channel um, on any uh, device, Roku, Apple TV, or cell phone. Um, and so I was on this show and she just did like, you know, very general interview about health and wellness. And I was really happy with, you know, how it turned out because I was able to give, you know, a little bit of information um, and share with, well, the audience for that channel is obviously women, um, you know, on how to be mindful, especially with children um, in terms of preventative health care and getting to the root cause. Um, for example, I brought up the point of if uh, your child is saying their stomach hurts, you know, my age and your age and even older, you know, we were mm. just conditioned to give our child medicine if your child is saying my stomach feels funny. We are not trained right. to ask our child deeper questions because the child might be going mm. through anxiety. They might be going through something else besides my stomach hurts. And sometimes children that are young, they don't have the vocabulary capacity to explain to us adults truly what is going on. So True. what do we do? We just give them stomach medicine and that's it. But we didn't even know that the child is starting to go through anxiety with something in school or something happened mm. with their friends. We don't even ask. Um, right. so these are things that I, you know, start would say, start suggesting to parents is learn to talk to your children before just giving them medicine, ask deeper questions, um, get to the root cause of things before just, you know, right. putting a band aid over things. Yeah. Sarita is just, you can talk, I can talk with Sarita all day. Uh, just, you know, <laughs> just like they say, iron sharpens iron. And uh, Sarita is real good. If you're called to Sarita voice, if you guys are on Facebook, which is meta, um, she does has a private Facebook group now, which is great. I was so mm -hmm. happy when I saw that. Uh, let us know about your private Facebook, Facebook group. How can they join and what do you have to offer in it? Uh, my private Facebook group is more of a support group for people that are going through their health and wellness journey. Um, it's focused on holistic health and preventative health so um this would be best for people that you know that are looking to improve their lifestyle and their diet so <clears throat> i post things there daily every monday i have a little video that i post um okay. occasionally i go live depending on um my schedule and things like that but i post uh tips um i have documents there that they can download um to help them it's pretty much just all educational. Um, there's no hard selling or anything there or, you know, weirdness, people commenting, fighting or anything like that. Or some Facebook groups are like that. There's no oh, one that's yeah. going to... Tell me about it. <laughs> you know, there's no one arguing because I, I don't allow... I mean, you know, before you join the group, there is a question you have to answer, you know, like if you're open right. to holistic practices and so forth. and and it's pretty much it's I'm not there to argue my my suggestions um, to people and right. how they can improve stress or how, you know, there'll be recipes and things like that. I'm not there to argue if broccoli is better than cauliflower or, you right. know, anything of that sort. I mean, you can take it or leave it and that's it. Right. But it's all completely just for support, <laughs> you know. That's right. And then you like both. I remember that was one of the questions last year. <laughs> yeah. Broccoli and cauliflower. You were like, I like both. You was the yeah. first one to say, I like both. <laughs> yeah, right. And I still need to get my smothered cabbage with ham. I haven't forgot now. <laughs> okay. Well, if you join the Facebook group, there's, there's a recipe posted. I think every Monday I post recipes, healthy recipes. Just open your mind to other things. Open your mind to other diets. I'm not saying go vegan, go vegetarian or go gluten free or anything of that sort it's it right. it depends on how your 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 dna your body makeup is everybody's different but i would say don't say no try it you'll never right. know what you like 
Right. I agree. I agree. Now, uh, what is the name of this Facebook group so we can search it? I'm going to join right after the session. What is the name of the group? It's called Recalibrate Wellness with Sarita. And if they go to my page, my Facebook, you'll see it. You can join it. Um, But yeah, you can search it. Recalibrate Wellness with Sarita. All right. All right. Now, also, uh, you did mention the per- exercise personality quiz, which you can also take on her link tree. Um, she also has some of her um, anti-aging skin care that she used and mm-hmm. also work with me, which I'm sure everyone is interested in. Uh, when they click on work with me, uh, what is available for them? Um, it's just a consultation. Um, you know, I believe that when you work with me, it's a partnership. I don't take everybody on as a client um, because it is a partnership. It's we're going to be working together very closely. Um, when we do work together, I don't just you know send you a program and that'll be it and have a nice day. We're going to be talking a lot and it's going to be very deep conversations because we are trying to get to the root cause of things and changing your mindset, you know, and, and your lifestyle and, and your personal development. So um, there's a process to that. And, you know, creating the right diet, creating the right meal, meal plan for you. Um, you know, and we're going to be talking about your relationships, your finances, your career and everything, because we have to figure out what's going on with you. And if I have to refer you out to another health professional, you know, then so be it. But it's a process. Great. And that's good. I'm glad you're out here doing that. It's the right cause at the right time. Um, Now, last year when we talked, Growing with Gus was starting your son's TV show. Yes. Um, My daughter is a fan of it. Um, Growing with Gus is blowing up now. So you're blowing up with Gus. Let yes, us we know were, what Gus is up to. <laughs> well, we were recently featured in um, the Las Vegas Sun. We were on the cover um, for cool. June. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, we were yes. on the front cover. Um, so I'm very proud of that. I was very happy with the interview with that one as well. Um, Growing with Gus is a kid's show that is geared for ages 5 to 12. Um, it talks about, you know, healthy lifestyle habits. Um, for parents also, there's little suggestions for parents um, and just how to live a healthier lifestyle, make better choices. Um, so then that way they have the information that we didn't have when we were kids. Right, right, <laughs> you right, know? And, right. Um, you know, right now I'm kind of rebranding the whole thing because Gus is getting older. Okay. Um, So I'm in the middle of um, kind of pausing the project for a minute and we're rebranding Gus, but the message will still be the same where it's still, you know, healthy lifestyle habits and so forth. Oh man, we loved it. It was very educational. Uh, You guys could check it out growing with Gus on YouTube. Check out the older videos. They are very informative. Yes, and they also have it um, on Everyday Woman TV channel and also the website. So there's even on the website, there's little activities that go with the videos because he's homeschooled. So I figured, you know, if they wanted to watch the video and they wanted to do like print out worksheets and stuff, they have that too. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's <laughs> great. Yes. I can't wait to see the new brand. And I love I love the original. So I can't wait to see it. Well, and he is growing up. Patient. Yeah, he is growing <laughs> up. So you have you know, and he's he he is voicing out more on what he wants. Wow. So I have to take that into consideration where right. you know, for children, you could say that was just a year ago, but children grow so fast. A year ago yes. he was yes. just, you know, Right. Little, That's like, little, now he's almost like, yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm seeing him karate kicking stuff. And yeah, I'm like, dude, he's, he's, he's like, like the little boy no more. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, that version is gone. So, you know, I, I don't ever believe in trying to force my child into doing something he doesn't want to do. So if we're going to do this project right. together, um, it has to be something that he's proud of and he believes in as well. And not just me. I'm just the messenger. But that's right. You know, my son is the bridge to 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 the little kids. 
Well, you're doing a good job, Sarita. Mark my word. Um, this is our second session together. Ten years from now, Gus is going to thank you for starting that show. It's going to be on a whole <laughs> different level. He's going to have a whole different opportunity that's laid out for him. Ten years from now, you're already planting a seed for him. He's going to be thankful. He might not vision it the way you do, but I can see it. And 10 years from now, you both are going to be thankful you plant these seeds you're planting. You're doing a good job. Can only try. (laughs) Can only try. Yes. (laughs) Yes. So before we head out, we're going to go into this or that. Some more questions I have. and You let me know your preference with this or that. And then, you know, we're going to see how very, very Vegas you are. Okay. Oh, All right. So with Serena <laughs> Rodriguez, this or that. <laughs> so with this one, I noticed um, either or I see you trying something new with Snapchat. So would you like prefer Snapchat or Twitter for your next social media challenge? I've had both actually for a long time. Okay. I've had Twitter, I think, for as long as I've had a MySpace. You know, that's how long, I mean, or maybe oh, yes. just right after. I've had yes. my Twitter for a long that. time. I just yes. don't go on Twitter as much because I don't, it was never a thing yeah. for me, you know. Um, there are some things I enjoy about it, but not really. Right. And Snapchat, I mean, I have my family, I have friends on there, okay. and I have a few okay. people on there, but um. I get more interaction through Snapchat um, because people, okay. you know, okay. message when they see my videos or pictures, they'll 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 say, "Hey, you know, they what's this about?" Uh huh. I mean, unless I accept okay. them, if I don't accept them, then they're just there watching. Me. <laughs> 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 the Twitter, though, you should try. You know, we can use you on Twitter. I'm on Twitter a lot, and I'm gonna tell you one thing I like about Twitter that stands out from the other platforms. Uh-huh. So on Twitter, you can wake up and you can just post something like type, get up and make it happen and tweet it. And it's going to get retweeted. And <laughs> you can't do that on any other platform. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just the craziest thing. You know what? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll do it. I'll I'll try it again. Um, I, like I said, I've been on that. And I think right mm-hmm. when it first started, I was there. And occasionally you'll probably see something like right. my LinkedIn or something right. automatically post to Twitter too, or something. Right, right. But I was just like, eh, you know. Or maybe I had Telling somebody you, message you, me on there. You would do know. good. Okay, you would do so good we, uh, if you um, lay out the the best practice I can give you is um like you always have all these tips. Uh-huh. Um, so just quick one tippers, just give one out each day, but <laughs> set it up so yeah. you know what, like you know what, at noon I'm going to give them a tip each day at noon. So okay. here's your wellness tip. And uh, believe me, you'd be surprised at who's going to be like, wow. And then it's going to get retweeted. Then everyone's going to see it. So those (laughs) tips that you have, that knowledge, you Uh can give one. You probably got enough for each day for a whole year. I'm sure you do. One tipper. (laughs) (laughs) One tipper daily. You'd be surprised. But see, when you start doing that, you'll find your niche and the people who likes you on Twitter, and then they'll turn it into something else. Once you start, like, okay, I see they like this. So, and you'd be surprised they like those one line tips. (laughs) Those one. I'll be a one liner, (laughs) one tipper daily. Hey, they they work. I, it was one thing I said. It was on Twitter because I'm starting to really like do it a lot. I said something. I said um in the lines of um oh I said I don't care what you're bringing to the table. You better be brushing your teeth every night. That was it. <laughs> and everybody retweeted it. They loved it. Like, These That's people hilarious. are crazy. That's hilarious though. That is funny though. That is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> So, so it's just little things, you know, I think, or if I spontaneously think of some inside stuff, I'll just put it on there because that's the only platform that kind of accepts that it understands it, you know, like, wow, they understand this. (laughs) They get it. They get you right. You're right. Because if you have to explain yourself, it's right. Oh, explain yeah. Yourself. They wouldn't, have, yeah, they, they would have been like, Who are you talking about? They wouldn't have never got that on Facebook. <laughs> no. Twitter is, I love it. Yes. <laughs> so I'll try that it. out, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll try it. So the next one, when you're into, when you're getting apples, I don't know if you're an apple person, are you more of a red or a green apple person? Wow. I love apples. And I do too. 
I like red apples. Green apples, I love if they're baked or mm. um, mixed with a certain kind of food, like, you know, with salads or or okay. or different something. Um, okay. Very seldom you'll see me reach for a green apple to just, like, eat it just because. Right. Unless I'm having nausea in a cruise ship, that they definitely okay. have everywhere around the ship if you're ever nauseous <laughs> there's a holistic tip right there for nausea right. green See? apples you need right to tweet there. that right now <laughs> tweet green, that green apples and if you see the green apples in a cruise ship it's not there for decoration take one and eat it <laughs> 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 oh, I love the red apples myself. I'm a um, gala. I love galas. Gala apples are my favorite. I have apples in my house all the time. You know, an apple of the day keeps the doctor away. True story. That's right. Do it. That's right. That's apple, right. Fruits, just fruits all the time, every day. Consume fruits. If and if you don't like apples, consume something else. But have your fruits every day. That's right. I yeah. love it. Good advice. Good advice. So our last one, even though it's so expensive out here in Vegas, um, do you prefer getting gas at Chevron or Shell? I go to both. Um, whichever one is closest, um, yeah. you know, um, I do find that Shell gas stations are cleaner. So I like that. Right. And maybe because there's yes. less people there. I don't know. <laughs> There's never anybody in a Shell gas station when I go. Um, unlike in a Chevron, there's a little bit more people. And the location, too, maybe has something to do with that. Because Shell gas True. stations are always in the oddest locations. They're, you never really right. find them on a corner. They're always like in an in-between a block or something. Um, yeah, you're right. I never noticed about that. And then yeah. every time I go to them, it's always like, Dan, I got to come out and make a weird turn. Or I got to go yes, out and make a U-turn very now. seldom you'll it's find one. It's never in direction. One. Yeah, you'll never <laughs> find one that's really on a corner. I've, if I've been to one, there's like a couple of them, but it's always like you passed it. And you're like, dang, I just got to keep going now till the next gas station. <laughs> 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 oh man hopefully you're listening shell we need you to get more corner spots stop getting in the middle of the block <laughs> yeah i love shell myself but you know i'm a smith shopper crozier so uh mm -hmm. they give me great deals and i'm always at the grocery store so yeah. i i i i i like religiously use my dollar off you know when i go yeah. there which helps a lot now that gas is like seven or eight bucks exaggerating you know like five here though but um yeah i'm more of a shell guide I, I agree with you with the shells a little more cleaner quieter yeah even the inside is a little cleaner too you know yeah. like shell i think is the only place that i'm not afraid to get um the fountain drink you know anywhere else i would never get a fountain drink 7-eleven i'm done with there i don't i can go in and just look at it and be like nah i'm good you can't go inside <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't. I I just don't. I for me that's like that's if in case an emergency somebody's trying to kill you or you need to call nine one one or something. Right. That's when you go or you can't hold it anymore. Your kid can't hold it anymore. You got to use the bathroom. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, you, you never go inside. Um, always use the card. I find myself now going inside being nosy. You know, coming from the pandemic, it's weird. Some of the behaviors now, you know, from the pandemic, it's like, um, I guess everyone's a little more observant. We approach things different. You know, mm -hmm. I guess no one's really thought about that. But, um, yeah. And uh, it, it's, you know, because if you have to, you know, I think that had us on guard, you know, we're watching everything, which is good. You know, I think everybody's back to it. But then, of course, everyone's back to being laxed also. So we can't be lax. So. Yeah, so you do got to be uh, still aware, especially going in, you know, getting things like fountain drinks and all that when you're dealing with the public. So yeah, well, um, cleaning this is very important. I was always a germaphobe to begin with. So before even the pandemic, I was already grabbing paper towels to pump gas, right. to hold That's the right. gas pump and right. stuff. People would look at me like, what is this crazy lady? <laughs> you know, she thinks she's right. like, you know. <laughs> gonna catch cooties or something from touching anything but you don't ever see anybody disinfecting those gas pumps you know true, you true. don't ever see anybody true. you know one day you're pulling up and they're just wiping that down 
nobody does. You are so true. Right, I always just right. I've always used paper towels to to touch those things. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So we're going to see how very, very Vegas you are. I know I'm holding you over time. So we're going to see um, again this question. You can give us a guess. And um, what now I give three options. So I do have uh, multiple choices. OK, to make it a little mm-hmm. easier. And uh, this is just a trivia to educate the history of uh, Vegas. Uh, so this one is um, from tripsavvy.com. Um, now, this question is a uh, rounded number I need. So the rounded number of total slots machines in Las Vegas, the rounded number of total slot machines in Las Vegas. So they have either 5,100, 200,000, or 2 million. 2 million. This is a rounded number of total. 2 million. <laughs> 2 million? Yeah. <laughs> I thought so too. It's actually 200,000. So are we you have serious? 200,000. Yeah, I'm sure it's more now though. It has to be more. That's, That's why I'm like. He's right. Just you know what's cr- MGM alone. I know, I know. And then you know what's crazy is like I know our numbers. Even like even when they post a number, it has to change by overnight. Like I know you guys just has to change because we're so much updating, so many buildings and everything is opening. But um, they said two hundred thousand. When, was, the, I was, like, when, wow. when was that? last update uh the trip savvy.com was the recent one updated and this was uh 20 2020 so it was 2020 so you do have the exceptions of at least two i would say two casinos probably wasn't counted you know what i mean probably the circa in the resort world you know what i mean when you really think about it but But then also they just took away the um the Texas, you saw that? No yeah, more yeah, taxes. they demolished it. No more Fiex. Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. Demolished so. It. I know, but 200,000 is small. But then you know what? I think us in Vegas, but, that's that number is small to us, but to other people, it's a big number. But no, we're so much used to big stations. numbers. You have the grocery <laughs> stores that also have slot oh, machines. Oh, I didn't think you about have the that. Area that has slot machines. You can't tell wow. me it's just 200,000. That doesn't sound right to me. That's I didn't not an think ac- about I, that. I would challenge that. That's not an accurate. Two million may be too high, but I definitely challenge right. the two hundred thousand. The two hundred thousand. I agree because with just you. the I airport alone, you. when you land, I mean, True. you have slot machines right, everywhere. That's like a thousand. Every, <laughs> you got a you, thousand you're right in there. Every the gate. <laughs> yeah. Look at your Seven Eleven. Every 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 gas station, and you know, has. Has a little slot you're machine. Right. Every grocery and you know what else too? Now that you, now that you're saying that, I wonder if that is in calculation also as like the Dotties, you know, the yeah, Red Dragons, the, the, the little are, smaller ones. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. That, I would say I a million. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I would think it's a million. <laughs> I would challenge that two hundred thousand. I'm like, that's probably just MGM properties alone. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> and then thinking about it, what they were saying is our visitors, uh, most of our visitors here that come here, the average visitor gambling budget is $541. And uh, they spend 3.9 hours a day gambling on their vacation. So four hours a day, that's a half a shift. What a $541. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Right, right. Our numbers have been well too each month. Have you been seeing them on the news? Yeah, <laughs> the it's, city's been doing real good. <laughs> that's good for our people. That's it good. is. Yeah. It is. It is. All right. So, Sarita, let the audience know your social media handles and how can they get in touch with you? Okay, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and soon I'll be back on Twitter. <laughs> Recalibrate Wellness is my. Um, is uh, how you can follow me. My private Facebook group is Recalibrate Wellness with Sarita. And uh, my website is also RecalibrateWellness.com. There you can book um, a consultation with me. It's free um, if you want to work with me or if you have any questions about what we talked about here with preventative health care. Yes. Thank you, Sarita. And again, it's always a pleasure speaking with you and I do appreciate you. I'm looking forward to growing with Gus uh, when that comes out. Also, oh, when you t- I'm going to be your biggest fan. When you tweet, I'm looking for you. I'm going to go in there I gotta and go I'm going to my password. <laughs> you better because I'm going to retweet it. So okay. uh, when you tweet, I'm going to retweet on my platform so okay. everyone can see it. Okay. Okay. I, you're, you'll be my first tweet. I just 
finish the I podcast. Got you. <laughs> I got you. The same thing. You you remember last year you wasn't doing what you're doing on Instagram. Now look at you. Yeah, now look at you. You know what? I I get kind of lazy. You know, I kind of get moody. And I know with social media, you got to be consistent and stuff. Right, right. And because I'm somebody that really wants to connect with people and I don't like to automate things too much. Um, right. Each post is is from me. It's from my heart. And I know it's not right. as productive as what people will say, but it's a real post. It, it's me. It's not, a, you know, somebody right. that decided to say, you know, here's your 30-day plan for your social media marketing. And there Correct. you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's yeah. good. I like that, Sarita. Now, you know, I can help, too. You get in contact with me. Um, I'm almost done with a course. And I'll be glad to share with you on how to streamline everything and make it easier to create content. So I'm coming up with that now and I'm almost done. I'm on the last stages of it. It's my first time announcing it. Um, but um, I would love to get with you and work with you to show you some of my best practice and everything. Awesome. Because, okay? you know, and then Facebook you'd be, it'll be easier. Well, Facebook recognizes me as a public figure now. It's just a matter of time before. You know, if I want to get that blue check mark on my, that's right. On my that's right. If that even so now matters. you got to feed the beast and yeah, then you got to feed the beast when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> if that even matters or anything, I mean, it doesn't make or break my self-esteem, but it that's obviously right. it helps, it helps, you know, with business. So that's all. And most of my clients do come from social media. Um, and most of my clients are from all over the country. They're not just locally based. That's right. Um, That's so right. yeah, social media plays right. a big part in my business. Yes. All right, Sarita. Thank you again. Audience, I want to thank you guys for tuning in with us. I know you could have been anywhere, but you chose to be <laughs> here. Again, you guys get with Sarita Rodriguez, Recalibrate Wellness. Check her out. She's going to be tweeting soon too. So you better get your Twitter up and look out for her. She's coming. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Sarita. And I'll talk to you later, okay? Love you guys and see you guys next Friday.